it's important to put into perspective like this is the spacex hyperloop competition but the hyperloop is being developed by companies uh, outside of the spacex competition even though elon musk came up with this idea in 2013 and published this white paper it was never his intention to do it himself what it's done is actually it's given more global attention so now a lot more people know what the hyperloop is because of this competition he's done a lot but he's also come up with this idea about the hyperloop that could revolutionize the way we live our lives. In our early meetings with the initial team, uh, we were talking about how we would uh, go forward in the competition. And eventually we started converging on, most of us have experience in aircraft landing gear, why don't we make a deployable wheel system using our aircraft landing gear knowledge? They held the first part of the competition, which was a design weekend in Texas. We had no expectation um, to win anything. I never even told my parents until about three, four weeks before flying to Texas. I was always thinking our design's not good enough. We, we don't have what it takes. We've got all these teams from MIT, Delft, all over the world competing in this competition. Until about the time we landed in Texas and I thought, Maybe we have a shot at this. The Subsystem Innovation Award, and it's going to Ryerson's International Hyperloop Team, Ryerson University. Being from Ryerson, uh, you know, internationally, uh, we're still making our we're still making our mark. So we were very excited to say that you know, essentially, we're part of laying the foundations for the fifth mode of transportation and that's something that you know we're, we're at this point we're enshrined in history uh, with all these other teams for for being a part of this first stage of the development so in my undergraduate i actually had the the, the fortune of being an intern at saffron landing systems so when the time came for testing and assembly and development um, Saffron was right on board. We had access to engineering expertise and resources there that helped guide us through the detailed design and analysis process. And that's really what we needed to do to be able to bring our, our design from a concept to something that could actually be fabricated. Ryerson was one of our original sponsors from the beginning. They wanted us to worry about the most important stuff, which is innovating and, and making a good product. But ultimately, we're doing this because we really believe in the cause. We really want to push humanity forward. And as you know, you've got these hundreds and hundreds of students working on these pods for no other reason but to grow as an engineer and also to benefit humanity and to work in a cause that they believe in. So I think that's pretty special and I'm glad that we were a part of it. I think the Hyperloop's going to change the world.